Look, man. I'm just going to come out and say it, man. Finesse two times. Your little brother is a crash out, and we got to be honest about it. We just seen FNG, no love, pull up to Alabama and pull up the Honeycomb Brazy Mama. Bro, it's a lot of shake type dudes out here, bro. These are dangerous games we playing. And before I even turn up, let's just watch the visuals right quick. Hold on. How you doing, my dude? Hey, what's up? What's up, Weird? Damn, you know who I am. Come on, man. Let's go. 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 let Bro, I, I, before I even show more clips of this whole circus and the clowns that's being part of the circus, I want to say rest in peace to Mamba. It's a reason I wore this shirt, bro. Not number eight, but number 24, two times four equal eight. We'll equate, you know, later. Hey, FNG no love. You playing a dangerous game, my nigga. You pulled up the finesse too. I mean, you pulled up the Brazy's Mama and made it look like you just all cool with the situation and everything is family. That might be the case, but you recorded it. You knew exactly what you was trying to do, my guy. You were trying to play uh, Brazy to look like some type of lame out here. You was making the situation look like, hey, honeycomb Brazy, you better fall back. We'll pull up on your mama real quick. Like, what would make you even do that and play around like that if you consider folks in them your family, bruh? You know that man just lost his grandparents through some shake situation in the street. Like, so what you go do? You want to play like he's really stuck up there for real? Like, that man done touch your family and all that? What type of weak move is that, bro? Nigga, you a stepper allegedly, right? Then go step on ish, bro. This behavior you doing out here is like... Ain't no way you could have come from the same womb that Finesse two times came from. Or may maybe you did. I'll get to that later, bro. At the end of the day, bro, you exposing this man, mama, and, and you people talking about Finesse. I mean, uh, Honeycomb Brazy, mama is still in the hood. What is he doing here? Looking out for his mama, X, Y, and Z. I think you folks ain't been paying attention. Honeycomb Brazy himself is still in the hood. And number two, he moved his mama out that area to a new location after the murders. Number three, to jump past a lot of this whole hoopla, hoopla, you ain't never seen Brazy lie to y'all and said he's so rich that he don't got to be in this hood no more, bro. He got an entire team that he looking out for, and y'all all done seen it. That man looking out for everybody and doing what he could do because he is going to be the spiritual voice that uplift. His entire community, bro, is bigger than self. It's bigger than I. See, a lot of you do for self and selfish type Negroes out here, bro. You can't relate to that. So it's only a quick, oh, man, this man got his mom out here. So I just came from Popeye's. So his mom can't go to the Popeye's and eat. And you need to look at FNG love a little bit more harder, bro. A nigga like that will give mama's address away to any opposition in Alabama that don't like Brazy for the right price. He don't move right. There's a reason why your brother put the lumps, the Looney Tune lumps, and gave you a how much not that a would not, that a would not, not came a lot. You feel me? And we ain't talking about King Arthur, bro. Came a lot, not Camelot, bro. Because you had a knot on your head, bro. Look more better than 3D art in cartoon world, bro. And you out here worrying about Brazy when you started it with that man. You tried to kiss ass to your own brother who already didn't want to do nothing with you. We remember when Brazy told us about that, but we seen when Finesse came home, Finesse wasn't rocking with you. He called you out two years before he got out and said people in his family done used him, done crossed him, and he included you, bro. He called you a shake type dude out here. And then when he came home with Jay Prince Jr., I remember like it was yesterday, he came from that private plane and all that. He was on the IG in the limousine. He brought up niggas like you who ain't did nothing for him and didn't look out. You even made a video when... when, when uh, uh, Finesse didn't even, he wasn't even on year two yet, and you already out here doing a video making that man look spooky out here, bro. This is you, bro. 
I'm, I'm, I'm not condoning no family member hurting a family. I already called finesse out for that. But you can't argue with a nigga when it's a nigga like you and you behave that way, bro. Look at it, bro. So you try to kiss tell with finesse and, and, and it didn't go right. And, and you got the lumps on your head and now you worrying about Brazy. You started this, bro. And Brazy was cool with you. According to them, they let you sleep on the floor, whatever you slept at. Niggas treated you like family, but you wanted to do the most for the grand, bro. And even if all that is true, you niggas got a beef. Why would you do this to this nigga? Mama, this what you wrote, bro. You said you talking about we got beef. This is after you met his mama. Look, if y'all think I'm capping, let's read it together, bro. Shout out to Hood Zone Production. You said, you talking about we got beef, bruh. Your mama loved me. I come in peace. I learned how to let go and let God. Yeah, man, these, these niggas always run to the Bible, don't they, bruh? It's almost the most snakiest dude always bringing up God this and God that. No, Negro, I think you need to fall back and do this and then do that. But anyways... You talking, man, I'm not about to read all this. You talking about you need to make sure she got 5000 a box Chevy in a hotel and I just blessed her with some for your problems. Damn, bro, this nigga grimy. Now, nah, shoot me a w open verse and stop BS. Honeycomb Brazy, you ain't none but a brother from another mother. 100% the ish. I don't want to hear nothing else about it, bro. It's clear. Look, to the average nigga, you going to say... You gonna say, man, let me just let y'all listen to him right quick. Remember, remember what I just read. Watch the video right quick. So everybody, man, it's Trey doing good, man. You dig me? Yeah, man. They got to take care. They got to take care of these motherfuckers beating. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I just wanna tap in, man. Let my phone know, man. I'm straight, man. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing, man. I'm gonna fast forward it too. I ain't trying to hear this nigga cry all day on the internet, bro. They say I'm getting fed inside. He ain't talking about nothing on that. So let me let me go to uh, um the mama. Mama speaking right quick before I say anything. You feel me? Let me go to um honeycomb brazy mama. Y'all feel me? Cause this man, bro, I, I I see a lot of games being played here, bro. It ain't no coming back, bro. It's a lot of shaky situations, bro. Hold on. Yeah, let's go. You gotta catch that part. She said it was nothing she could do because F N G no love was already there. See, that's a mama thinking about her son, Brazy. Now, Brazy already brought up a couple of things. He kind of mad at his mama right now. He didn't go in full detail about it, but we know he at odds with family, but he still loved family like this. You feel me? No mob stuff, just straight family stuff. And the mama caught herself, and that's what she was like. Ain't nothing I can do about it because she know it's a bad look that she's being seen around this shake dude, FNG love, and he going through it with her son. Look, Mama Brazy, I know what you mean. If you wanted to do something, he could do it to you, but he didn't. But that's the whole point, Mama. Some of y'all going to have to be more precautious because you it's too late. Your son already two foot in the street. He in the water with the sharks. So you got to walk a little bit more militant, Mama. It don't mean... It don't matter nothing. The Most High always going to protect us, but he want to protect those who protect themselves first. And you were slipping right there, mama. Just because somebody know your son and they call you to the car, don't do that. Because he's supposed to address you and approach you. You the queen. And he in the car making you come to his car. Don't do that again, mama. But that's what I mean about FNG love. He wrote a whole statement on IG like it's all love. Let's quit beefing on and be cool. Number one, you moving on some police time in FNG love. Because 
You know Brazy got the feds all over him, and you know the feds is all over your brother, which means the feds is watching your shake ass too, bruh. So what you do is bring the feds around a situation that you already know is up and stuck right now. So if any, bro, it could be a act car accident happen. If your dumb ass get killed, they gonna look for Brazy first, bruh. And that's why they uncomfortable with you and he do the jokes with you only, bro. Because you on some informant type of timing, bro. You recording everything and you know what it's like. Even if it's beef or it's we found Family, bro, why I gotta be on the camera, bro? When Brazy go on the camera, it's some other ish, and he don't do it too much. Even though you think he crashing out on camera, Brazy a smart nigga. He didn't say nothing to get indicted or put it on his name. They know it's beef. The whole world know it's beef, but you can't put it in his hand. What you doing is going to a nigga section where the nigga mama at, and you documented it. What you Steven Spielberg, my nigga? You making movies? You the same nigga with a lump on your head talking about look at me. And I ain't going to be a hypocrite. When I got jumped by 20 niggas, you know, I was drunk. So I took pictures in the hospital when we was in the hospital. It is what it is. But we didn't know, oh, my brother, look what he did. Look what he let them do to me. Look what he let them do to me. And I'm like, damn, bro, we with you on that, bro. He flawed for that, but... Did you really have to go on camera and expose the situation the way you did? Like, God damn, nigga. Like, you doing too much, Frederick. Whatever your name is, fam, I ain't got no hate for you. I'm just looking at you putting the situation to make it beyond repairable, bruh. You playing with a nigga mama and you making it look like it's all love, bro. At the end of the day, you playing with that man mama, bro. You you putting it out there what you, could, what you did for her and all that. Why I got to be highlighted on camera, my nigga? If I'm in the trenches with most street dudes, and even dudes who ain't from the street should know, this why Brazy came home and it looked like he was beefing with everybody. Nah, bruh. He want his money for the things he already put in. That's it. He in a situation where he need that bread quick. You probably think he flexing because he got jewelry and all that on. I guarantee you nine times out of ten, it's people who love Brazy and they like, bro, here, bro. And they don't, well, I ain't going to say donated or bought and all that. I ain't going to get into that. But they wanted that nigga to shine because he the king that he's meant to be. But all that man do is worrying about the people around him. That's why you don't see him at no five-star hotel. No, none of that. I thought he was one of us. So you folks make fun of somebody living the life that y'all living. Okay, copy check. That's why I don't fuck with most of you niggas in the world. You know what I'm saying? Two-thirds of our folks ain't gonna make it anyways. So why would I waste time with you brickheads, bro? Hell nah, bro. I rock with the people who I can relate to and feel a simil similarity, bro. Forget about the violence part, bro. All you niggas say y'all mud babies. That's a damn lie, bro. I don't smell it on y'all. I don't see it on y'all. And it's not something to be proud of. It's something that's part of you. You dig what I'm saying? It don't matter if you become a millionaire overnight. You a mud baby for life, meaning it's a mentality thing. So what FNG Love is doing, bro, we can kind of understand why Finesse and them don't want you around at all. And you the square in the camp, bro. You don't fit in the circle, bro. You the square, bro. A L7 type nigga out here, bro. And you documenting everything, bro. You got to watch these type of niggas who document everything, bro, as a safety net. But you flexing this man mama on the gram, bro. That's a dangerous game, bro. I seen the most lamest nigga in the neighborhood turn up when niggas mess with his mama, bro. I ain't gonna go in details with that, but the most softest nigga in our hood, bro. We done seen him turned up back in that so-called year of 2000 and such and such. I ain't effing G love. I ain't gonna give a date, but this is facts. Seen the most lamest, softest dude in the hood. They touched that man mama at the corner store, bro. That was it. And you playing around with this man mama on live IG. Like, it ain't easy for all of us to pull up on a nigga we don't like, mama. We all could do it, but we got morals and ethics. Something you don't, my nigga. And that is what they wrote for your story, bro. Goddamn, messing with a nigga, mama, and we supposed to be cool with that, bro. This is crazy, bro. I don't, I don't know, bro.